Hello everyone, this is Mink. Today I'm going to show you uh, how you can quickly uh, create a web application and contain, let's say, three fields of information uh, from a table and then display all of them okay, under one column. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, this is uh, the status column contain uh, the in stock uh, field information from the product, from a product table and also the unorder and then reorder information okay so let me uh, quickly uh, show you how to do that okay so let me select the web uh, web uh, root directory and create a new web form and then select the web form and then click add i'm going to switch switch to the design view and then i'm going to use a preview control to do that yeah so there you go preview control and I'm going to config the data source it is an SQL database click OK yeah, from the drop down menu yeah, I'm going to pick the uh, connection string okay, which I have set up okay, correctly okay, to connect to the uh, North Wind database I'm going to click next And the table I will be using is called products. Okay, so let me select the products, and the number of fields uh, I will be uh, using will be the product ID, product name, and then uh, unit price, units in stock, and units on order, and then reorder label. Okay, and let me click next, do a test. So far, so good. Click finish. Okay, and then do. I'm going to uh, display the result right now. Okay, so far, so good. So let me close the application. Okay, and then let me go back to the preview control. And then I'm going to enable uh, paging. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, click the edit columns. Okay. And then I don't, I I don't want uh, want the uh, unit uh, in stock to be displayed in uh, a column by itself. So I'm going to select it, delete it, select it, select it, delete, it, okay. select and delete. But I want to use uh, a template. Okay. Template. Uh, field okay, to display uh, those three uh, sets of information okay, under it. So I select a template field and then I'm going to give a name okay, for the heading or header and we call it status. There you go. Click OK. And then now I'm going to okay, uh, config uh, the three sets of information under the status view so I'm going to select uh, edit templates and then okay, I can uh, select click the drop down menu and select okay, column 3 which is the status uh, field then you can see all the available uh, templates okay, uh, will be displayed okay, for me to uh, put information over there but I will just work on the item template so let me click the item template and uh, let me type in stock and then the information I want to put over there okay, uh, will be the uh, units in stock but I want the information to be displayed okay, over the uh, label control so once I drop it immediately uh, the software realized that okay, I want to do some uh, data binding okay, to the database so I can click edit data bindings and then from the uh, field uh, binding okay, I can pick uh, which field to retrieve uh, the data from so I want to retrieve the data from units in stock okay and click OK and I'm going to work on the next one which will be on order okay and then I'm going to uh, retrieve the data and then display it over 
the label control and then click edit bindings again and then the fuse I want to bind, bind the data from will be from the units on order click OK again and then let me uh, go back here add one more item okay, which will be the uh, reorder okay, and then I can drag and drop again and then click edit data binding and select reorder label click OK ok so far so good so let me close the templates by clicking on the end template editing okay. so you can see ah, this will be uh, the simple result but let me execute the program okay, to see how it looks like there you go okay, so this is uh, how it works okay and then let me go to uh, page number eight so far so good okay. page number four so far so good okay i hope that uh, you enjoy the video and then uh, you can see uh, it is so easy to use the software okay, to customize some stuff without coding okay, without coding have a good day bye